I'm Jordan Ezra King, chef and food writer. Stella Artois have sent me to the great outdoors for an own naturel experience with their new naturally unfiltered beer. It's a beer in its most natural form. Naked, if you will. It's fresh! So I'll be stripping down and removing the filters on a quest to discover the au naturel lifestyle. And who better to learn from than those that embrace it every day? I'm a naturel! In return, I'll be cooking some fresh, tasty dishes to share with the people I meet along the way. <laughs> Join me for the ride. In this episode, I'm off to meet a group of local cyclists who take riding to the next level. It's getting a little bit nippy, so I'm going to head off. I think this is probably my favourite activity so far. It's quite kind of exhilarating. Well, I'm Siobhan. I met Peter on a Christian dating site. We chatted for a while and then Peter stopped talking. But we've forgiven him for that now. Hello, I'm Richard. I'm the LGBTQ plus officer for British Naturism. I've suffered with body positivity for quite a while and naturism's really given that a boost. I'm Natasha, I'm a train driver. I am an organiser for the London Naked Bike Ride. I organise one specific start point. The nice I wouldn't class myself as a naturist. I just enjoy doing random naked things. Oh, well, I'm terrified of cycling clothed okay. in traffic because you're not visible, drivers don't see you. Really upset that I didn't get into naturism long ago because I always felt body conscious. But when you think about it, I was born a naturist. I guess everybody is born a naturist. Exactly, yeah. there you go. So yeah. we're all natural naturists. Yeah. A big part of why they do this is they feel more confident not wearing clothes and just this idea that kind of everybody shows up as they are and you just kind of do your thing. They're really at ease with that, which is nice to see. I'm not really good in cycling, to be honest, but going on naked bike, it's cool, it's fun. My name is Andrew Welsh. Uh, I am extremely lucky because I run a market. And then give me a shorter version. <laughs> Sorry. I'm the spokesman for British Naturism, and I've been a naturist since the early 1990s. Does kind of naked cycling or just naturism in general change your outlook on life? Absolutely, completely. I'm so delighted that I discovered it all those years ago yeah. and do all these fantastic things that make you feel so good. Mm -hmm. So getting away from the rigours of daily life, escaping into some world that just makes you feel fantastic. You know what, the ride was really nice. Even, you know, just to be kind of here, out in nature, in the fresh air, out in the countryside, it feels pretty good. It's quite kind of liberating. I think that for me, my ultimate is probably shorts and nothing else. That feels quite good. I think that there is a genuine, like, skin to saddle, abrasive factor that I can avoid by keeping my shorts on, but having everything else off feels pretty nice. Another fun activity I like doing is I normally cook naked. What's the point of putting clothes on just to cook? I am the real naked chef. And after a long, bumpy ride, I think these guys need some refueling. And what better way to embrace the outdoors than a barbecue? I'm going to rustle up some delicious grilled mackerel flatbreads with a zingy dill and mustard slaw. This is a really simple dish, showcasing just a few beautiful ingredients. This type of strip back cooking is what I love, and that reflects the unfiltered nature of the natural beer I'm pairing it with. It's fresh and crisp, which cuts through the fattiness of the fish really nicely. Cheers. First thing is gonna be the flatbreads. We're gonna roll these out and cook them straight on the barbecue. Roll these out nicely like that and give it a little quarter turn each time. Food that's a no-go to eat when you're naked? No food is a no-go when you're naked because skin doesn't stain. Yeah, it's wiped it off and it's gone. Now I've rolled out all my flatbreads, it's time to wipe them on the grill. Once they puff up, then flip them over. They only need around one minute per side until you get those lovely golden bar marks. Cool, so the flatbreads are done. I'm going to grab them and just set these aside while we cook the mackerel. 
I think the art of living au naturel is being good to yourself, protecting yourself, treating yourself, all of those things. Uh, and that's a, I would say that's a very natural thing to do. First thing I'm going to do is grab my mackerel and salt them with a little fine salt like this. And this is going to do two things. It's going to season the fish, but it's also going to firm it up a little bit because it's going to pull out some of the moisture in the flesh there, and that makes it easier to grill. So this is actually a really good thing to do before you cook pretty much all fish, is give it a little salt in advance, and then just leave it for 20 minutes, half an hour, and you'll be good to go. Just get to say it for you. Yeah. You know, as all chefs we know, don't put the fire too high. No, <laughs> you you're going to get splash. <laughs> so, so, oh, I I'm going to cook the mackerel skin side down because it's going to do two things. It's going to give us really crispy skin, but it's also going to protect the flesh so that it doesn't cook too quickly. If I was cooking naked, I would probably stick to salads. Once the mackerel is cooked, gently ease them off the grill with a spatula, taking extra care not to break the skin. It's quite delicate. You should be left with beautifully cooked flesh and really crispy, charred skin. Now I'm going to set them aside while I crack on with the slaw. Weather could have been a bit better, but well, we're no, there's all nothing right, like a nice bike ride in the sun. Exactly. And that was nothing, nothing like, like a nice bike ride in the sun. <laughs> Start by thinly slicing the cabbage and red onion. Then just grate in the carrot to save time chopping. I'm going to season it nicely with a good big pinch of salt. And then here, I've got some white wine vinegar. You want a nice amount of acidity in there. Here, we've got some nice mustard. Generous tablespoon of the mustard. Then I'm going to roughly chop some parsley and dill for an extra pop of flavor. I'm going to add three quarters of this to the bowl and save the rest for garnish later. Now I'm going to give it a good mix with my hands and we're ready to plate up. All right, so grab yourself a flatbread and then you want to grab your sour cream, put a nice spoon of it and then just spread it around. And I'm just going to put like a nice handful of the store right there on the yogurt, and then I'm going to grab a nice piece of that mackerel that we grilled earlier and just pop it skin side up on the top there like that. I'm going to finish this with a good drizzle of olive oil, a scattering of those herbs and a generous squeeze of lemon. <laughs> oh, thank you. That looks amazing. Oh, it smells delicious. It does, doesn't it? It really does. What have we got here then, Jordan? Well, we've got grilled mackerel flatbreads with a mustard and dill slaw. And I think it's going to go really well with this Stella Artois unfiltered beer. Couldn't agree more. So what have you learned today about nature cycling? One thing that, you know, everybody that I've spoken to has said is that it's that sense of freedom, right? And being a bit kind of closer to nature and there being kind of no boundary between you and your environment. Thank you all for having me. Pleasure. And will you be yeah. joining us for the London Make It Bike Ride? Why not? I'll drink to that. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. An exhilarating day, made better with great company, great food, and all washed down with this refreshing natural beer. Superman. Peter, we're filming. Rude is nude. Newt is rude. <laughs> well, I think it's time I get a beer. Get walk off this way. Oh, right, I think it's time I crack open a beer. Well, we are probably a little bit odd. In fairness, we are odd. Oh, ooh. better tuck myself away. <laughs>